guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be making my last Christmas house uh, for my village. So I'm so excited. Let me show you what you'll need in case you want to make this project. This is the smallest of the Christmas houses that Walmart sold and you can put a little light up in here. Now check yours if you, you know, when you get them or if you've already gotten them. I didn't check mine good and I didn't have the little bottom thing, but that's okay. It won't bother me. And this was $4.98, but I think it's so pretty. Then you're going to need, I'm going to be using some more trees from Target's Dollar Spot that I have left over, and you can see they were $3, okay? And then I'm going to be using another set of these wreaths that I got at uh, Hobby Lobby, and they were 50% off, and they were $1.99, but 50% off. And then I got these trees at Target because I was running out of trees and my Walmart doesn't have any more. And I just love how they just glisten. And they were $5, which isn't too bad really. I mean, there's four trees, it's not horrible. Okay, then you're gonna need four of these little um, candle holders that are glass from the Dollar Tree. Okay, my camera just stopped filming all of a sudden. I don't, I hope you didn't miss anything. So, like I said, we're just going to be putting our gesso on here like we've done many times before. I don't know what happened to it. Not too thick, not too thin, just like that. So, I'll be back as soon as I get all the gesso on the house. Okay, here it is. I have all the gesso on all around it. And I took it into the bathroom and used a hair dryer set on warm high this time. And I dried it. So I'm really happy with how that turned out. So now I'm going to take my Waverly chalk paint in mineral because I wanted it to look just like, I'm going to make a church. And I wanted it to look just like an old chapel or an old church. Okay, so I'm going to open up my paint. And I'm just gonna get this and start putting this on. And I think this is really gonna be pretty. I wanted them all to be just a little bit different. And this is what we're getting so far. I love it. So as soon as I go ahead and put this paint on all over and I dry it, I'll be back. Okay, here it is dried. I just took a hair dryer to it on high medium and I really like how this turned out. I don't know if you can really tell the color, but I really do like it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is get our snow text and we are almost finished. Like I said, I hope I have enough snow. Okay, and you just have to stir it up really well. But I have used and used and used this and you can see how much I still have. So let's start making some snow on the top of this like we have so many times. I just want it to look nice and snowy and cold. This is what we're getting so far. I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead for time purposes and hop off here and finish putting my snow text on because I know you know what I'm doing. I've done it so many times. It's so pretty. I love all this snow and cold. But that's what I'm gonna be doing, and I'll be back just as soon as I get the snow put all over my house. Okay, here it is with 
the trees and the little skating pond and everything. I love it. It is so pretty. So what I thought I would do a little village accessory that I got at Big Lots for $2.50. And I thought I would just put, it's a, a man and a woman and she looks like maybe she's uh, slipping on ice. And I thought I might just put them right there. Or maybe, where do I like them the best? Do I like them there? I think they look in better perspective right there. So I think I'm just gonna put them right there. Okay guys, here it is. I think it is a Adorable. I love it. Let me put this down just a little bit. It is so pretty. I mean, they have the church and the little people and the trees. And like I said, you could put a little people skating there. You could put a gazebo there instead of making it like a little skating pond or ice. You could do, oh, the possibilities are endless with this. It is so pretty. So I can't wait to show you um, this with the rest of my houses. I'm hoping that my house tour will be up Friday. Um, I'm hoping. So um, let's just see, keep our fingers crossed. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.